Hi, I just got my uh, Over Boss, uh, a Boss Monster Adventure um, Kickstarter in the post today, and I'm really excited. So I thought I'd just show you what I got, um, as I'm sure a few people might have looked at the Kickstarter, been in love with Boss Monster as a brand, and possibly not uh, jumped on the Kickstarter. I was just curious about how uh, how it turned out and what's in it. So obviously I've paid to get the uh, the new expansion, which is Boss Monster: Rise of the Mini Bosses. Um, as when uh, it was asking for confirmation on addresses and payments and such, um, it gave me the option to to buy additional uh, items from the the franchise, which is great because of those certain ones that I wasn't even aware of. So out of the box, uh, so I got my uh, Rise of the mini bosses, uh, some type of mystical portal in a marketplace type area. Really gorgeous art as always. Uh, and then we've got the Terran selection cards, a couple of extra bonus ones I assume were um milestones that they they managed to pass, so that's great. Um with over boss backs, which is lovely. And then over boss a monster adventure. So uh just before I unbox everything, uh, in case you're not aware of the the brand, uh Boss Monster um is like a beautiful tribute to uh, dungeon crawlers. Um, and normally, um, your uh, you know the boss at the end of uh, an adventure, and then you um, craft your dungeon uh, out of a linear set of cards uh, with yourself as the boss at the end. And adventurers get lured in by uh, treasure and fame and such like that. So. Uh, they walk through all the different cards that you've laid out, you upgrade uh, throughout the rounds, uh, and they usually perish along the way, uh, and then you get points for their souls, uh, and you normally uh, battling against other people around the table uh, for who's got the best dungeon and who gets the, the most souls. So that's what it's kind of like. Um, I've got the original boss monster, and I've got the level up which is the second expansion in the silver box, and then this is my third. And then this one uh, I, I wanted because this is uh, the old overworld, so instead of having like long linear passageways uh, that people are journeying across, uh, that they, they've come out of the dungeons and they're spreading across the land, um, which is very exciting. So. Uh, yeah, brothers, brotherwise has has really sold me on um, on the brand, and uh, I normally trust a lot of their games that come out as well. So um, I'll leave Rise of the Mini Buses, um, and I'll just unbox this because this is probably what people are clicking on this for. Um, so huge, lovely box, um, but it it's weighty and dense. So nothing's rattling around. I assume it's all. <laughs> quite neatly packed in here. Uh, looks like we're going to have a load of cards um, and then uh, a range of bosses. So that looks like it's 12 bosses, some blank area cards to lay your cards upon, and yeah, it's just building your map and choosing your boss and leveling up throughout the game. So that's excellent. Um, the, uh, the expansions really added to the base game. So the base game had each section of the dungeon really uh, really having its own character and, and its own theme uh, and then the expansion kind of made the cards interact with each other um, so if there was adjacent cards then there would be a, a build up of bonus and such like this. Oh my goodness this is a, a gorgeous box uh, it's done something that I absolutely adore, which is have a beautiful matte, and then this is all glossy and embossed, and oh, just delight for the fingers. So, let's get it open. 
So greeted by a nice big stack of cards. So they must be the, the boards which you build upon. Uh, and this is uh, the manual with an overview of the different components. So let's just see with our own eyes what's what's going on in here. Okay, so these are the different land areas. They seem like they might... Uh, no, they're not going to interconnect. Maybe like that. Because um, I am assuming that we're, we're building bigger than uh, 3x4, but... Oh, there we go, and then that's 4x4. Four four. So let's have a look. Nice, nice little satin pouch. Matte on the inside, silky on the out. Lightweight. Hand test. Yeah, not too deep. You can get your hands in nice and easy. My fella's got bigger hands, but I think it should be fine. Okay, and we have a scorecard. Uh, oh, that's that's cute. So it's like purposefully uh, decorated with stains, like it's kind of been pulled out of an adventurer's pocket. Um, that's really cute. I like that. It's it's throughout. It, it looks so genuine. I actually had to check that it hadn't been dropped on a warehouse floor. So that's nice. And then we've got uh, terrain type, dungeon, tile score, mini bosses, crystals, uh, matching monsters, bands, token score, boss monster, and total. So it's going to be a lot of different ways of scoring, it seems, which is nice. Ooh. Uh, oh no. It's empty. Okay, so I had funky, funky purple. And then let's just take this off the top. It's just like part of the game. Okay, so we've got the terrain selection cards. Terrain selection cards, sorry. We've got the boss monster cards. So that means. The tiles themselves must be in one of these packs. So let's pop that over there. Ta -da. And they they look like they're gonna be easy to pull bits out of, so that's good. So yes, this initial big pack that I thought were the boards are the cards. So but I should have guessed with it saying components that this will be everything that's in here. So let's, I'll just keep the, the bosses out so we can look, have a look at those characters and I'll just pop the, uh, the boards the, and the scoring and such and all that type of thing just aside for a minute. There we go. So uh, just so you don't have to go through me looking at these and going, oh, look at the pretty artwork, you might just want to see if we've got some of the old characters here. So just going to whack this open and then if you want to switch off the video after, then you can switch off the video after. So what have we got? So we've got King Croak. Let me just... There we go. One. So we've got King Croak, uh, which, yep, yeah, he's a classic. Bella Donna, oh, she's cool. She's got like two scythe handles, like short scythes. Uh, so oh, I'm doing this all for Here we go. Come on. So, Belladonna, Killer, oh that's cool, so it's like a female Kong, 
very nice, I like that. Uh, Zyax, uh, I, that's not how you say it, Zyzax, Zyzax. Uh, he's a classic, He's he's been in the others before. So, uh, Cerebellus, they were in the ones before, matched up really nicely with some of the mage cards. Cleopatra, classic, but beautiful new artwork, like, really nice, like, they, they've added a lot of detail, they've kind of moved a little bit away from being very strict on having X amount of pixels, so, very cool, I like that, I like her eyes. Uh, Kazana, new, new genie boss, not had her before, so that's awesome. Do, do, do. Uh, Porcus, I feel like he's in the level up second expansion, like a little tribute to Ganondorf, so I'm not going to say that he wasn't part of the original crew. Explodo, nice, very cool. And uh, Kyrax. Classic Golden Dragon, as you do. Uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult to score up than the other ones because it's got like a little table going on. Um, but they're, they're the bosses that you get. Uh, I think that's probably a really lovely start to it. I think it would be really cool if they do something where they'll give you like the, the templates and you can like upgrade your, your boss monster uh monsters um because i like when we play we, we kind of we hope we, you're supposed to do it random random pick but um we kind of sometimes cheat and just pick the boss that we really want um so uh yeah hopefully more bosses to come in the future if not then i will probably make some custom ones and just blue tack the <laughs> the cards from the other packs uh so they're, they're excellent they're gorgeous lovely artwork Really nice and clean. Um, I'm a bit uh, big on accessibility, um, so I'm really pleased that it's uh, really clear black text on a white back, a white creamy creamy background, and all of the the names are nice and uh, clear against high contrast background. So I'm super pleased with that. That's lovely. So pop that back in. Lovely. Just get this baby open. Mm. Oh, I want to say, oh, that's that new board game smell, but it's almost like a new book smell. It's really nice. Um, so, components, let's see what we got, okay, so, this initial one is not just the components, uh, but it's also the manual, so, we've got setup, turn order, uh, placing and scoring, advanced tiles, oh, this is, this is lovely, this is like, uh, the the bosses are, are speaking to you, so uh, uh, that bag of bones, Zyzax, is such a moron. No content, con no contest of over bosses is over until your power has been counted, and there's no better monster to school you on that in placing scoring tiles than Cleopatra. Uh, and then this one's like, I suppose you might think you've learned a thing, everything there is to know about uh, the tiles from this dusty hag Cleopatra, but she's uh, she's only taught you about the basic tiles. And then obviously Belladonna's going to show you how the advanced tiles work, which is great. This is lovely, really immersive, uh, kind of bringing these bosses to life and giving them uh, a lot of flavour. Um, like, you ha previously you kind of assume that they're quite static because the old the old retro games which these are obviously like tribute to metroid and things 
uh, so a lot of the bosses didn't say anything. Like I don't remember Bowser being very talkative in the early games. So uh, this is really lovely. Um, having them kind of walk you through uh, all the different areas of the manual and kind of just giving a little bit of a flavour of, of how competitive they are, but also how they uh, they obviously live in the same universe and they're interacting with each other and they're being competitive and they want to be the, the best over boss there is. So I love that. That's really great. Um, then we've got scoring example, which is always... Uh, examples are very welcome, <laughs> uh, in my opinion, in um, manuals. Uh, it does make them a little thicker, but uh, I think it's always worth the time. Um, so that's great. Then what have we got? We've got uh, just a little advertisement from Brotherwise. Uh, I've already got Call to Adventure. Uh, I've had it sitting on my shelf for six months. I really want to play it. It's kind of like a it's got like fable elements so uh depending on how you weave your adventure you get like evil points and good guy points uh, and that shapes how your adventure comes out and what options you have for your uh, quests ahead so i love that um i had a look at unearth uh it's got gorgeous uh, art um but i think it was a bit more of a puzzle game and that's why i ended up not getting it but um this is nice it's always nice to kind of be exposed to the other stuff because I think you do uh, you end up having a little bit of a brand loyalty sometimes when it comes to board games and board game stores so I, I, I'm i never like ooh advertising it's like oh cool let's see what's going on well this is nice so we have solo modes um, so you can follow this QR code to print this sheet or visit uh, Brotherwise games so okay okay so it's got like little uh, little mini quests to do as you level up um and and different aims to to go so that's really great i i love sol solo modes being available especially as uh very often you'll get a game and just by like checking it out to see like how the rules work and things like that your mind can be spinning with like really good ways of kind of getting halfway to a solo mode um but just figuring out how to to shape that experience up so it's really easy to repeat and enjoyable um it, it's just great that people just take you know the time to make just just two sheets of paper to to kind of go here you go this is this is you can do this as a solo mode let's do it so that's great. We've got quick start guide. Ooh, nice card. So that's maybe 60 G GSM. Um, and again, we've got QR codes to enable things. Uh, I'm sure that there's going to be loads of videos out there about walking you through and how to play. But yeah, we're looking at we're looking at some new themes. We're looking at some new um, areas, uh, uh, which obviously makes sense because Previously, the theme was dungeons, so you had your torture chambers and you had your mystic libraries and things like that. So it makes sense that above ground you're gonna have, you know, temples. Uh, so we've got graveyards, we've got temples, we've got uh, spider <laughs> spider homes. Um, seems to be some cute little witches uh, with little mushrooms, little death mushrooms next to them. We've got crystals. Oh, you make me want to play Dark Crystal now. Um, so that is really lovely. Uh, really clear, easy to read. Uh, white on dark backgrounds for all of the scoring. Um, nice bold font. Uh, so that's great. I'm pleased with that. And then what have we got here? We've got a very cool uh, boss temple with you know a cavernous cave going down and they've not just gone oh we'll just cookie cutter it'll be the same for everyone no we've got uh the same scorings and the same types um however we've got you know tributes to uh the kind of ganondorf character and uh the uh metroidvania type character and uh i think that one's for the king croak so that that's awesome i love that that's great got flooded lands we've got portals um we've got 
We've got fairies! Oh, that's lovely. Please just focus. You're a very nice camera. There we go. So we've got uh, armored, armored guys, fairies. Uh, so yeah, uh, armored guy fairies, uh, kind of ice mages, uh, octopuses, uh, like baby brains maybe, or uh, cephalopods. No, no, the like baby, baby cer cerebrus, uh, and like the classic boss. Bo boss monster that you would get on uh, a lot of the boxes so I like that that's lovely um, just as I'm accidentally popping one out anyway uh, let's just have a little feel of this card so that's nice that's really thick uh, we're looking at probably three millimeters with a solid shine on top uh, nice and wifeable if you've got any dribblers in your house uh, or beer spillers. Um, but yeah, that's nice. Let's have a little look. Do a table test. Oh yeah, that's nice. So you can get like a clear uh, half of your finger pinching the side of that uh, to pick it up. Uh, I, I do like thin cards. I like lightweight games. I like things that I can just shove in my purse. But I, I, I really do hate having to kind of... Uh, wish that you had a pool table so there was a bit of felt so you could pick the thinner cards up so chunky cards beautiful for the hands nice weight satisfying slamming them down uh obviously wouldn't slam respect the board game all this type of thing so that's great and then we've got some desert tiles uh with a, a moor in the ground which is making me think of mandalorian at the moment um then we've got like a gothic castle uh some sandworms big fan of Tremors so that, that's lovely if you haven't seen it excellent TV series uh, spin-off is available as well uh, and then we've got like little uh, they kind of look like little dragon people because they've got like little mohawks um, so that's that's nice I like that um, I'll try and uh, fix my camera like yeah, if it's my lighting I'm just gonna see if it's just I'm a little dark lighting. Let's see if that's gonna help. Sorry about the shine. Um, no, I just have double shine. Is that gonna fix it so I can show you the really pretty artwork? Uh, no peg. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so we got little vampires. Um, we got little sandworms. And. Uh, we've got mines, we've got castles, we've got uh, things lurking in the dark. That's lovely. Uh, and we've got little golden dragons as well. That's nice. I like that. So. Uh, we've got lovely little witches again. And we've got skeletons. They're like Ash vs. Evil Dead, but Go on, skeletons with sides. You gotta be thinking Pratchett, I think. Come on. Oh, so cute. So super cute. I love it. Um, so yeah, you've got your beautiful forest, you've got uh some lovely uh pixies in a pool. And let's have a look. Uh, where else we we can journey and develop and build? So obviously lava pools got to be done. Uh, we've got little 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 mages doing doing some cute rituals. So that's good. Oh my, there we go. And then temples for the rituals. We've got the golden dragons again. I know it was blurry when I showed you before, so I'm gonna show you this cute little guy. Aww, with little flamey eyes. I love that these are popping back in. You can see, you can feel how thick and high quality it is by the fact that if you really wanted, you could probably just pop it back in the sheet every time. Um, I have no clue what these are. No clue whatsoever. Maybe like little little dog warriors. Little mutts. It's cute. It's a little uh, 
Mad Maxi, but it's it's it's, it's lovely. Then we've got some Valkyries. Going to have those bird ladies. Lovely. Uh, and we've got like a nice temple for them. So I think this is it's not uh, snow; it's sky. So it's like a sky temple. Uh, and you're probably going, "Wow, why why would you say such a thing?" Um, and it's because there seems to be like a little uh, falcon just flying past. So, and a really grumpy, sleepy cloud. So that's cute. I like that. Um, yeah, and then the rest are kind of like wooden forts. So that's nice. Uh, and then we've got, oh, that's cool. Like a little uh, Jack and the Beanstalk uh, poking out the clouds. That's good. I like that. And then we've got some uh, Ifrits, fire demons. Be a lava place. He's ripped. He's got like an eight pack. So that's cool. But um, all of these are just slightly different. Like you, you've got like four different types of four or five different types of Valkyrie. You've got slight variations in the fire demons. Uh, same with all of them. You know, like the. The little puppy warriors you have some with little hats so yeah it's it's just gorgeous it's really lovely i'm really excited to get this on the table um get my hands popping all of these babies out um i think it's i'm not intimidated by the manual um what are we looking at like five so eight pages evenly spaced all the keywords are in um sorry all the keywords are in uh, bold so you can skim them really easy and just be like uh caves uh swamps uh along with uh each of the tile areas being heavily color coded um each with their own like big symbol so you've got like a tree and a gravestone flags all that type of thing so there's lots of things for your brain to kind of learn the rhythm of and um, be able to skim and and search really easily. So that's I'm I'm so pleased. I'm I really am. Um, so yeah, it does look like it's this is your overworld. You've come out of the dungeon and you spread across uh, the uh, twelve or eighteen tiles, I assume. Um, let's just have a quick check on what we've got, what we've got as, as the core set, so let me just get that over there. So just before I close off, um, we are looking at, we've looked at a hundred, here we go. So 128 uh, terrain tiles, 100 monster tokens, 10 crystal tokens, 7 portal tokens, 6 mini boss tokens, uh, 10 boss cards, 18 uh, command cards, a solo mode, a uh, score pad, uh, game trays for the premium inserts, 10 terrain uh, selection cards, a uh, token bag, and 5 double sided game boards uh which is great so does that mean that we've got a maximum of five players yes we have one to five players uh ages eight and up uh i think that's about right i played classic boss boss monster with uh a 10 year old uh and again when he was 12 so uh and he loved it he he was in for it um and uh 20 to 30 minutes winner that's that that's a really like it's really easy to teach the original game i assume it's going to be easy to teach this original game everything's going to be in the really easy to pull out inserts um and oh yeah we didn't even look at these uh so but when you turn around and you're trying to get a non a non-gamer to play and you go I promise you it's going to be really easy to pick up 
Uh, even if you don't win, you're going to enjoy the theme and the idea of it. And worst case scenario, it'll be over in half an hour. Like that's 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 an easy sell sales pitch. That is. Um, so yeah, we seem to have uh, Intima, Overgrowth, Castle, so a Forest. So I'm not really sure what the. So that's terrain selection card. So maybe that's how you get restricted. So um, I'm sorry that I'm not doing like a how how to play video. Um, I just was really excited um, that it arrived, and I just wanted to show you show the world. Um, I'm sure that more professional people will be doing unboxing videos, um, but as it had just arrived yesterday, I thought I'd just get it in front of people. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. Before before I log off, I didn't even look at the special bonus content that that they were able to raise money for. So I, it looks like this is for an entirely extra boss, which is fantastic. So. That's come with more terrain cards, they're like a spooky tower, and who is the boss? The Collective. So that's nice, that's like a, a little tribute to um, the Borg, but also maybe you, your classic um, cultist sect from a Cthulhu type game. Uh, we've got a uh, creepy, creepy kind of beholder looking monsters. Uh, which is just eyes with lots of tentacles hang hanging off um, and they seem to be in like a kind of toxic green purpley uh, swan, swan tower place um, but it, it's called the tower that's what this this expansion seems to be and I got a nice a nice fancy purple bag so it's not coming up terribly well on this but it's it's like a Cadbury's purple uh, so is the box, so is everything, so, um, but yeah, uh, if you've enjoyed it, uh, good, uh, I just wanted to make sure that the content was out there, so if someone wanted to find it, then they could find it and they could see. So, uh, I hope you all have a fab day, and I'll catch you next time.